Darren is in Aylesbury. Hello, Darren. Hello, mate. All right. Hi. Hi. What would you like to say? Um, yeah, I've, I've got a really bad drug problem. Um, I've been homeless for the last 17 years. Uh, when I turned 40, I had a breakdown. My marriage broke down and all that. But um, mm. my main reason why my marriage broke down was because of drink. But because um, I've been in and out of um, hostels and homeless shelters and things like that, I got into crack cocaine and heroin. And um, I've had a few drinks tonight as well. And I've, I've been using butane gas to get high. And... Uh, it's not a lifestyle that I want to be in, but I'm, I, I feel entrapped. Uh, Did you say you, you first got into drugs when you were in he homeless shelters? Is that because they were just I, freely I've available? I've been into drugs since I was 11 years old. Right. I used to glue sniff and uh, tipex spinners and butane gas. I've been an alcoholic for about 30 years. And, um, and have I you had treatment? Like the way my life is going. I, I know um, it's either I quit now or I die because something's going to kill me. I, 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 I take co copious amounts of drugs. And, but, um, but the fact that you're ringing me and telling me this indicates to me that you do want to do something about it. I, I go to. I, I used to go to a heavy games and things like that. And because I've been moved around and I, I've been shifted around, and that I, I've lost my way. But I found Alcoholics Anonymous uh, very helpful, uh, and Drug Anonymous as well. Mm. But. I'm going down a really bad spiral at the moment. I'm I'm not in a very good place. I'm not happy with the way my life is going. Um, well, the the I easiest thing in the world would be for me to sit here and say, well, if, if you're not happy with the way your life is going, then you should do something about it. It would be easy for me to say that, but I know that it's not that simple and that you you, you, you are getting help from Alcoholics Anonymous, Drugs Anonymous, but it, it sounds to me as if that's not enough, that somehow you need more support. Um, I've, I've actually lost my way with Alcoholics Anonymous and Drugs Anonymous because uh, I, I was in a hostel and I'd just got my own flat, which is mm. heaven. I mean, I'm getting away, but the thing is, when I was in hostels and that, it was it was all um, in the front room, crack cocaine, heroin addicts, yeah. alcoholics, people with mental health problems, which I suffer with mental health problems and all that. And... Um, yeah, I'm in a bad way, to be quite honest. And, 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 and people should think on, on their problems. It, uh, you, know, you know it's all going wrong. You know it's all going wrong. I've had a couple of drinks tonight, so I, I don't know whether I'm making a lot of sense or not. Well, you, you are making sense. Otherwise, I would have stopped the call, Darren, to be honest. But um, I wonder, have you ever um, phoned Talk to Frank? Because I, I think no. they, might be able, they might be able to help you in terms of getting the, the, the level of support that you need. Because it seems to me as though uh, going along to AA or, or DA meetings, are, are not that's not sufficient for you. You've got a positive outlook in that you know that things are going wrong for you and you want to change that. But I, I don't think that you're getting the level of support. And um, uh, I mean, I don't, have, you, have you got a pen or, pen or um, pencil handy? I haven't, no. Well, um, uh, have you got access to the internet? I, I, I can't use... Uh, that's the other thing is I suffer with psychosis and um, smartphones and computers. 
Right. So I'm, my psychosis. Right. When, I, when, I, we've, when we finish, I'm going to say goodbye to you in a minute, Darren, but I want you to stay on the line and I want to uh, want you to talk to my producer and uh, somehow he's going to get, give you a number that I think will help you because Talk to Frank is a great organisation. Yeah. They give very good advice. And I, I think you, you're knocking at the door, but at the moment no one's answering it. And I think you just need somebody to give you the support that yeah. you need and hopefully you I can know, turn your I'm, life I'm around. Going down the back. Road yeah, well, I, 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 but you acknowledge that. You see, a lot of people in in your situation, I think, don't realise the bad road that they're going down. But you clearly do, and therefore, you want to do something about it. And hopefully, there yeah. are people that we can put you in touch I'm, with I'm that not can help any you. Younger. I don't think my Join the club. Can, do a, can do with much more damage than what I'm doing it because I'm, I'm yeah. drinking, I'm smoking, and. You know, I'm, I'm in the crack and I've had heroin and, you know, I never injected. I smoked heroin, I've smoked crack cocaine. I got addicted to crack cocaine and I've had well, a really bad time. As I say, the key, the key thing, I think, for anybody who's got an addiction of any sort is to want to turn your life around and... You you indicate to me that you genuinely want to do that. So, Darren, I'm I'm grateful to you for phoning in. Stay on the line and talk to Robbie, and um, we'll take it from there. Thank you very much. 